Kitty, kitty, kitty. I guess we shall go solo. Okay, if you say so. Play. Titty, titty. Look at his plan. Yeah, eat chicken. Charlie, better luck out next time, my friend. Come back when you can't stay as long. I am born to dimmest the bonus. I'm just looking for little things around here. Okay, time off. Okay, I shall grab that. Second, no, I'll stand up. I'll get down. Get down. Warm. My English food. What shall I do? I need, I need to find some explosives around here, my friend. This is a box. Oh, it is. Shooting me, motherfucker. Fuck is this bitch? Holy shit. Is he hiding? Fuck 
Get the fuck out of me, bitch. Some cirrhosis. Why did you fucking put a thing up? That's stupid, you stupid dirk. I need to change this around. That's for damn sure. What's that? What the fuck are these dudes doing? Where the fuck are you assholes going? Seriously. Seriously, what the fuck is wrong with you fucks? You guys are stupid. Stupid, I tell you. Where are you people going to? I need some parosis. You seen any of these explosive things around here somewhere, sir? I need them. I need some explosives. Name is Bond. James Bond. Oh, there's something up there, right? <laughs> Dog, give me a blue shot or my gun. <laughs> Windows are just hello. Hello, what's up? Oh, I think I better run. Okay. Trying to complete a mission, they keep. Oh, I just got people to take by the store. Come on, Stormy. I'm now at level 95. Yay, you're almost there. Just five more levels. You're gonna be past me. What's up with that? I'm gonna die in the storm.
You should be a hundred this week then, huh? That'll be fun. Wait, what? You'll be a hundred this week, won't you? Yeah, I think so. I think so too. I have a mission. I chose white, so I have a mission to go blow up the drop boxes. You want to do a duo, or you want to do a other one? And, uh, uh, we can do squads. Okay. This way, yeah, we get more people that'll help us out. Sometimes. <clears throat> My grandson's playing. He'll be in here in a minute. Okay. Yeah, big head. He'll be here shortly. He's playing with his friend Seth. Uh, I think he's doing squads. Is he? Let me check. Uh, yeah, he's doing squads. Yeah, he'll be here in a second. I just pinged him on his text on his phone. Wait, is his name Big Head? Yep. Big Eight one two. Six. Five? Yep, that's him. Oh, yep. I, I call him Booger Eater. Yeah, he's doing squads. I call him Booger Eater. to bosses. Oh, okay. Then we shall go to the rig. Microphone. Hello? You eating your mic? I don't think so I could land at the rig. Well then run over. Yeah. You can go somewhere else. Yeah, we'll yeah, meet up with you. But we'll make sure you don't die. Okay. I don't need this. I just need to kill Dantina. Kapow! Kapow! You just need to kill one of them? Oh my gosh! Yep. Yep. Ah! Die! Is Saint Tina there? No. Nope. Oh gosh. They see me. Ah! Run! 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 Ouch. Ouch. I'm low on health, I'm low on health. Run. Hello there. Oh yeah, I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. Oh. 
Where is Team Gina? Let me know if Cantina's over there. Uh, there. That's me. I cannot find her in here. She's supposed to be over here? Or on the island? Um, well, she changes spots. Uh. So just, just say red alert if Cantina's there. some bandages. Where are you at? Um, I'm in a boat. Okay. <gasps> oh gosh. No. Ah. No, no. No, I need a foot. There. Is oh my now. god. Wait, where are you? Are you all the way over there? Yeah, I said, I told you that I couldn't make it to the lake. But let me check my challenges. What other one? Do I Get on the boat. Make inside the boat. Inside the boat. Go. Inside the boat. Oh. Ah! Who just knocked you? <laughs> Are you in? Well, looks like he's gonna stay behind. Oh my gosh. Super speed! Oh yep, I need to go. They're coming from here. I need to go, I need to go, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh, I'm dead. Good, you can go. I saw her, I saw her, I saw her, I saw her. I saw her. No, I saw her. Don't let these guys kill you. Sure. Let's go. Get your challenges done. We can always re up. Oh, yeah. Remember, we played how long last night? I'll just get the chopper oh. next time. Oh my gosh! No! Okay, that's okay. We'll just we'll go to lobby and we'll get it. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's come back here again. All right. Next match, let's come back here again. Oh my! I failed. Okay. I missed every shot. Okay. No. We got more time. I'll just leave match. Wait, wait. I'll try to collect your reboot card. Oh, never mind. I already left match. It's okay. We'll wait for him. I right back. I use the restroom. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god. There's three. Shadow safe houses, and I have not found the last one yet. Oh, I could actually purchase it. How much is there for two levels? Probably gonna be like 300 V books.
sauce of banana. It's Anna Banana. What are we gonna do? I'm gonna try to invite someone. I'm gonna try to invite one of my friends. Alright. Unless you just wanna join their party. Oh, is that your friend? Oh, uh, no. I'm fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I added, I added him as a friend. Okay. I forgot about that. Okie dokie. Ready up. Liquid gourd. Oh, they're still in game. He's still in game. We have to wait till he's I know, done. but when he comes back in, we'll go right in. No, he's gonna be in the same match. Cause when you die, um, there's a yeah, um, you get, um, you get to respawn. Uh, well, you don't respawn, but you there's like this <clears throat> button where it says ready up, and then it shows like all the players who ready up. So yeah, he didn't be in the same match. Cool. Somebody's on a polo stick. Somebody's on a polo stick. Which shall we go? Polo boy. The shark, the yacht, or the agency. Okay, up to you. you Doesn't pick. matter. Where do you want? You want the rig? Put it way too far. Oh, they're yeah. never gonna make it. That's okay. We'll, we'll get up with them. If everyone else went there and we all shot the boss at the same time, the boss would just die in one second. Is, are we looking for T and Tina? Is that what we're looking for? Yeah. Okay. She is so... The reason why I picked her is because, like, she is in different locations. Kind of like but, Midas? Yeah. Okay. Midas, he just he just stays at the agency, but he's but he like moves to different places in the agency. Okay. So that's what happened. That's what ha that's what's happening to um Tim Tina. And I see a henchman, and so I'm dead. No, you're fine. There's two henchmen, and I do not have a gun. Ah! Disguise. We need disguise. Are you frost? Are yep. you on the rig with me? Uh huh. I'm gonna look for Tina. Okay, me too. And I have the shadow disguise on, so when I find her, she's gonna die. I don't think T and Tina's on here. Is that T and Tina? Oh no, that's not T and Tina. I am not getting close to henchmen. Oh, that's so close. Let me see if I can find T and Tina in here. Well, if we get a henchman and we and we shake him down, will shake it tell down. us? Will it tell us where she's at? Uh, well, we we're, we'll probably not know where she's at because like there's tons of henchmen and like 
We don't know which one is going to be T and Tina. It's just going to show a red dot on each henchman. Oh. And even T and Tina, so we're not going to know where she's at. Okay. But I'll try so it. So we just got to keep looking for her then, right? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to keep looking at this place. See if I can find her. Then I shall run around looking for henchmen. And we should kill them. Gosh. Is he a genie here? Oh gosh. I bear a legendary chest though. You found a legendary chest? Uh -huh. Okay. Cool. Got a purple launcher. There's some. Those, one of those. Tina has to be here. Well, the only henchmen I know that are on here are over there. Oh, or over on there. Okay. Oh. Yeah. There's henchmen over here, too. I just need to find Tina. Yeah. Tina. She just said, maybe it'll be louder, right. and, and then it tells you that she that you're close to her. Someone's here. Someone's here. Someone's here. Oh, that's Duke. Duke, you want to go over oh. there? Cause they're gonna kill you. Oh, I found her. I found her. She's right here. You right did? In, right here. She's walking around upstairs. Oh, cool. I'm a henchman, so it's gonna be fine. Hey, Duke, can you take me up there? Right there. Right there. She's standing there. Oh, there? Yeah, she's walking around. She's got a bow on her. Oh, I know. Duke, can you take me up there? Duke? She's right in front of me. I can't, I can't go up there because Duke didn't pick me up.
Let's just take the helicopter and go back. Or you can just come. She moves, um, she, she moves. Oh, well, yeah. So, you never know, she probably would be on the other, on the other side. Get in, Duke. You know what, I got him. I got him. Be careful. Oh my gosh. I missed it. I started running over with the chopper. But it didn't matter. I missed it. Get inside the chopper. Everyone get inside the chopper. Get inside the chopper, everyone. Start the chopper. Oh my god, there's a bug on, there was a bug on my screen. Get inside the chopper. Get inside the chopper. Get inside the chopper. Oh, we're in the circle, and we have to move. What are you trying to do? What are you doing? Let's actually go for Midas. Oh, I need a disguise as Ghost Henchman. Oh, right back. Or not, let me look. Oh gosh. I'm gonna shake him down and see if Midas is there. to blow up these little uh oh the those uh i know what you're talking about for, for what for one of my challenges for my white challenge so where's our chopper what happened to our chopper the chopper's on the other side no our chopper what do we do with ours i know i put it on the other side Ooh. So I'm probably there, took it. Wait, the chopper moved. I put the chopper, look. Somebody's shooting at me. 
I put the chopper right here, but it moved to there. Watch out. Wait, was this so good? I need to get the ammo. But I need a stack though. You can have it. I don't know really want it. You can it's have a it. pump shotgun. I don't want that. Oh, here, I'll trade for my other shotgun. I have a tap already. <laughs> this thing's about to blow up. We got a... One shot on this... One shot on this trapper is dead. We're dead. We're dead. With one shot of this chopper, we did. Like no <laughs> life left. Chopper inbound. I hear one. I need that. I need to find one of those things. I gotta go blow it up. I think there might be one here. Yeah, it's by the trash. By the gas station. I wanna follow you. You need to blow them up. Why is it not blowing up? Um, probably because you need like more. It doesn't do oh, any damage. I just crashed. Oh wait, hold on. I'm good. I know it doesn't do any, does it? Same back. I'm gonna try to see if this is done for me. I think this is one. This has to be one. No, 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 it's not here. It's at a different place. Remember the other place we went to oh. yesterday? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the one that gets us free. What, the one? And the, there was a one with a lot of henchmen. Yes, it's the gas station with all the henchmen at it. Mm-hmm. Where's this? Oh, yeah. I found one. I found one today while, while I was uh, playing with one of my friends. Well, my cousins. I was playing with one of my cousins. Mm-hmm. And... Hey, Trina. Got him. <laughs> There's two, two down here. One's healing the other oh one up. Oh my gosh. One's healing him at the end of the thing. He's at the very Miyazu end. Miyazukos is the... Ah! Not today, Miyazukos. Oh, you're... I'm lucky. You got a guy, two guys to the end of that. Oh. There's a banana shooting rocket at you. Ah! Banana! That's the one that killed me. I'm the only banana! No! No! The 
let me go figure out how to do this. I don't think we're gonna get picked up. He shot me. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get picked up. Oh, Duke is still alive. Oh, is he? Yep. But he's dead because all those, uh. He's dead because all the. Um, all the. What's it called? All the Brutuses, the ghost Brutuses, he's dead. Destroy shadow boxes to get a white design and destroy ghost drop boxes to earn a dark earth. Oh, I gotta destroy, destroy shadow boxes to get the white design. So I have to do the black ones. Okay. okay. Wait, what character are you doing that for? The white, uh, the white for, um, Maya? Oh no, Tina Tina. Oh. Oh, her? Uh-huh. I, I only need to do one more challenge for her. I'm doing Bruce Beef. Uh, I have the last... I have all the challenges done for Bruce brief, Briefing. Alright. So I just need to do one more. Yeah. I have a lot. <sighs> oh, what am I doing? What the fuck is that doing? Why is it ignoring me? Is that quick join us? Yeah, let's see if he's available. That guy's hacking! That guy's hacking! What the frick? He did, I edited it and then took him one shot and I was basically dead. Grandpa, you're here? Uh-huh. Well, I have to get off in five more minutes. Really? I'm getting exhausted. Yeah, it's Grandpa, cold, want, Grandpa wants, wants me to. The only way for me to do this is get through this mind block in my head and I'm just gonna have to fall on my face. I don't right. know why, but... Hey, right, so get with me in the morning. Okay. Right, love you. Oh my god, that was four. That was four. Oh. Alright, love you, Zeth. I meant, love you, Grandpa. I'll talk to you later, Zeth. My, oh my game god, crashed, so. Four. Bye. Alright, bye. I'm gonna try one more. Take a little break. Oh. <clears throat> Watch some TV. After we get done with what they were doing to me, um, I went right to sleep. It's all doped up.
These are the stories that had everybody talking. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 talk show scandals. If you love this video, then you'll love the original content over at our sister channel, Ms. Mojo, your source for all things pop culture, celebrity, and entertainment. For this list, we're taking a look at feuds and controversies from both daytime and late night talk shows that either made audiences drop their morning cup of joe or their glass of wine. Number 10, the Dr. Phil drug scandal. In 2017, this long-running television program came under fire after former Survivor contestant Todd Herzog accused the producers of enabling his drug and alcohol addiction in order to generate views. I didn't know this was happening right now. In his now infamous appearance in 2013, Herzog was so drunk he could barely stand, indicating to viewers that his condition had led him to an all-time low. I had an entire bottle, uh, like a liter of vodka. However, according to Herzog, he was coerced by staff into drinking two bottles of vodka and given Xanax to, quote, calm his nerves before filming. The Dr. Phil Show has vehemently denied these claims. However, an expose published in 2017 by the staff and the Boston Globe exhibited multiple victims making similar claims against the production. Number 9, Rosie O'Donnell versus Elizabeth Hasselbeck. The view can sometimes feel like a daytime soap opera. Of all the scandals this talk show has endured over the years, the feud between co-hosts Rosie O'Donnell and Elizabeth Hasselbeck was perhaps the most notorious. The tension between the two reached its boiling point in 2007, when Hasselbeck referred to Iraq as, quote, America's enemy, prompting O'Donnell to argue that the Bush administration was truly at fault. You just said our enemies in Iraq. Did Iraq attack us? The liberal O'Donnell additionally criticized the media for their unflattering portrayal of her, claiming that they favored the conservative Hasselbeck. Here's how it gets fun in the media. Rosie, big, fat, lesbian, loud Rosie, attacks innocent, pure Christian Elizabeth. And I'm not doing it. Following their heated argument, O'Donnell left the show, while Hasselbeck exited five years later. Number eight, Alec Baldwin's gay slur. Although Alec Baldwin is one of the most outspoken liberals in showbiz, his behavior hasn't always lived up to his professed ideals. In 2013, the Oscar-nominated actor landed in hot water when he allegedly directed a gay slur at a paparazzo. In due course, Baldwin was suspended from his late-night talk show for two weeks. While Baldwin initially claimed he was misquoted, he ultimately described his outburst in an apology as, quote, offensive and unacceptable. However, the damage was done, as Up Late with Alec Baldwin was canceled after only five episodes. It probably didn't help that Baldwin also made homophobic remarks towards reporter George Stark on Twitter. Number seven, Maury Povich's sexual harassment lawsuit. Maury Povich is no stranger to controversy, as many critics have accused his tabloid talk show of exploiting serious issues. Speaking of exploitation, a $100 million sex harassment lawsuit was filed against Povich and other members of his staff in 2006. The allegations stemmed from Bianca Nardi, a former producer of The Maury Povich Show, who claimed that the host and his workers had forced her to watch pornography and attempt to seduce married men at bars while being filmed. She additionally accused executive producer Paul Fallhaber of making her wear revealing outfits and implied that Povich was having an affair with producer Donna Ingber. Despite this scandal, Povich remains on television and is still married to Connie Chung. Number six, Billy Bush fired from today. Just when it seemed like the 2016 U.S. presidential election couldn't get any crazier, a 2005 hot mic recording surfaced in which Republican candidate Donald Trump shared an offensive and potentially incriminating conversation with Access Hollywood host Billy Bush. Grab by the on a bus ride, Trump not only admitted that he tried and failed to seduce Nancy O'Dell, but also made some vulgar statements while discussing actress Ariane Zucker. The scandal took 
a drastic toll on Bush's public image, resulting in his termination from the Today Show. Meanwhile, Trump continued his campaign and was elected president almost a month later. You don't get to say that because I was there in the last 14 months of my life. I have been dealing with it. You dealt with it for 14 minutes and went on to be the president. Number five, blackmail attempt against David Letterman. After a long, hard day, audiences would typically tune in to Late Show with David Letterman for a lighthearted laugh. The talk show took an uncomfortable turn in 2009, though, when Letterman confessed to having several sexual relationships with his female staffers. An extortionist had targeted Letterman, threatening to write a screenplay about the television host's affairs unless he coughed up $2 million. And he seems to, in this packet, uh, there seems to be quite a lot of terrible stuff he knows about. Cooperating with the Manhattan District Attorney's Office, Letterman wrote a fake check, and his blackmailer was arrested shortly after. While Letterman was met with some negative press following this shocking announcement, he eventually moved on from the scandal and hosted Late Show for six more years before retiring in 2015. Number four, Oprah Winfrey versus James Fry. It's a radical departure. It's not a classic, and it is also not fiction. James Fry hit the big time when his memoir, A Million Little Pieces, was selected for Oprah's book club in 2005. Chronicling Fry's history with alcohol and drug abuse, the book became a New York Times bestseller and a cultural sensation. If I was going to write a book that was true, and I was going to write a book that was honest, then I was going to have to write about myself in a very, very negative way. Many readers felt cheated, however, when it was revealed that Fry had fabricated information in his supposed true account. This didn't reflect well on Oprah, who invited Fry onto her show to talk about the controversy. Oprah didn't let Fry off with a slap on the wrist, eventually getting him to confess that he had made up parts of the story. She also brought on publisher Nan Talese to set the record straight. Number three, Conan O'Brien versus Jay Leno. The original war for late night can be traced back to 1992 when Jay Leno became Johnny Carson's successor over David Letterman. This influenced Letterman to move from NBC to CBS while Conan O'Brien was hired to fill the NBC late night time slot. History essentially repeated itself almost two decades later when Leno exited The Tonight Show so O'Brien could assume his hosting duties. Unfortunately, O'Brien's ratings struggled, and the decision to give Leno a primetime talk show turned out to be a huge miscalculation. Since pushing back the schedule wasn't an option, O'Brien was given a $45 million payout while Leno returned to The Tonight Show in 2010. Number two, Jenny Jones' guest gets murdered. Okay, you think about you, you have fantasies about him? I've had a couple, yeah. The Jenny Jones show aired for over a decade but it's actually best remembered for an episode that never even aired. Entitled Same Sex Secret Crushes, the episode centered on a guest named Scott Amador, who, on the show, revealed his crush to an acquaintance named Jonathan Schmitz. Three days after the episode was taped, Schmitz reportedly found a suggestive note from Amador. Schmitz subsequently purchased a shotgun, shot Amador two times in the chest, and alerted the authorities of the crime he had just committed. Having a history of mental illness, Schmitz was convicted of second-degree murder. Meanwhile, the Jenny Jones show faced a wrongful death lawsuit and was forced to pay Amador's family $25 million. Before we get to our top pick, here are some honorable, or in this case, dishonorable mentions. How should we pay them back? She painted all the way over and killed everyone in China. Kill everyone in China? Yeah. <laughs> That's an interesting idea. Number one, Matt Lauer's sexual misconduct allegations. In rapid succession, from Bill O'Reilly to Charlie Rose, media personalities were publicly accused of sexual harassment in 2017. Have you done some soul searching? Have you, have you done some self-reflection? And have you looked at the way you treated women that you think now or think about differently now than you did at the time? However, the sexual misconduct allegations directed at Matt Lauer shocked audiences perhaps the most. A staple of the Today Show for almost 20 years, Lauer was abruptly fired after a female NBC employee accused him of sexually harassing her three years earlier. You know, for the moment, all we can say is that we are heartbroken. It became clear that this was unlikely to be an isolated incident, as more women came forward. In one instance, Lauer was accused of summoning a former employee to his office, 
and sexually assaulting her behind a locked door. The fact that Lauer was such a beloved host only made this more disturbing. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo and subscribe for new videos. You know what would be fun? What? We got in that blender. Uh, is that a dare? Double dare. Captain, get in here! Captain and Pineapple, there's more fun to be had. Did he give you good celebrity Jeopardy advice? Yes! I, because you were mentioning that I hadn't seen you in a while, and I always think of you because I don't know that I've been able to thank you. Um, for your celebrity Jeopardy advice. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. Well, Do you remember what it you're was? You're welcome. No, I don't. Okay. So, so Andy's, was, I, Andy's was use your iPhone and I, I, Google <laughs> the answers. Yes, this may have been pre-iPhone um, when I did it, but I was about to go on Celebrity Jeopardy when I had come to see you on the, on the old show, and you said that the, the cl clicking technique is vital. Yes. And that women in particular, or maybe I'm just remembering that, hold their thumb up like this, mm -hmm. and so then, <laughs> guys, for when the next time you're on Jeopardy, uh, <laughs> then, the, uh, then the, the distance between your thumb and the clicker thing is too far, right. and you, so that you should be like this, and so instead of going like this, I was like this, and I came in second. Great! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
acting wildly. That's never happened. You just mentioned Chanel. Two years. We've been here 22 years. The couch has never broken. No, I actually broke it once, but I didn't notice until the commercial break. What are you doing? I had no idea. What are you doing on the couch? No, we did. We're doing this. Yeah. And a bit or something where I had to fly back on, like, fall back on the couch. Like I had been killed or something. It's who is uh, all washed. But uh, I, broke, I broke the back leg of this couch before. Really? And I was doing, you 